another lovely day in the neighborhood. My trucker friends all lined up there. Beautiful. This is the Tennessee Welcome Center. I park on the other side where that car is driving now in the far right hand corner I've shown you before. And then in the morning I moved down here. It's a little quieter and I don't know. I feel more like on my own down here. People just come and go. Uh, the bigger rigs, of course. And I'm heading out now to go visit a couple local parks that are within 30 miles. I love seeing this across the way. A couple picnicking. Yeah, company. Very nice. So, hope you'll come on down the road and join me. You hear Serene and Simple Life. Look, it's a first. They're putting up lights for Christmas. Halloween, I don't know. <laughs> we are at the Clarksville Parks and Recreation McGregor Park. And the Cumberland Riverwalk. Let's go take a look. Of course, it's the sign project made possible in part by the generosity of many individuals and businesses. Oh, through the window there. Credit where credit's due. Let's talk to the gentleman right there. They're doing more here. And I found out they're for Christmas. Yay! I was hoping that's what it was said it's his first year and it takes about a month. He said it looked tedious. He said it can be. I'm going to take myself a nice walk around the Cumberland River. Then I'm going to head over to another park. I have a salad that I bought the other day. Caesar salad I'll have for lunch. Just whiling away the hours, as I've mentioned many times, while uh, the cabin is being built. It's probably, I don't know, I think we're up to about a 14 part series now. Doing it three to four times a week, so if you're new, you can catch it in the playlist. From the very beginning of the build, Beautiful, beautiful day in the neighborhood and a lovely walk. Wind feels amazing. Look how sweet. To Sinspell. Interesting untreated wastewater discharge point. Hmm. Of course, I was wondering where the picnic tables were. like some cool stuff down the ways there. Some cool sights. Beautiful. In the parking area down there too. Two of these in two days. Reel in and recycle. Put in the comments. Have you seen those before? I guess this is the boat ramp. We're gonna keep on walking. Not an ostrich, not a pelican. Is that a uh, herring? Whoa. Off into the wild blue yonder. Or was that a crane? I think I better go back and uh, study my birds and ducks. What do you think? Be nice. 
wish I had done something differently yesterday. When I was looking for Kentucky Lake, I really, really enjoyed the drive. Though I think if I'd have put it back in my GPS and just went a little further, I was probably right on top of it. And I missed an opportunity to uh, experience most likely uh, tremendous beauty. So I was kicking myself last night. I looked up on the internet about Kentucky Lake. And uh, yeah, I was disappointed. <laughs> and I probably should have made a right out of the area where the, where I turned out of the campsite and kept going. I should have, shoulda, woulda, coulda put in a visitor center and actually experienced where the campsites were. So, I don't know, good reason to go back, right? Just not going to do it on this uh, particular journey. And I absolutely enjoyed myself, but I think I uh, missed out by not just uh, stopping and and really figuring out where I was and how close I was to the lake and also land between the lakes where the actual RV campsites were and that kind of thing so perhaps there'll be a next time if not it was still a lovely memory some good history here Surrender of Clarksville, Union Occupation. Walk through bridge. Beautiful serenity here, except for the traffic. <laughs> We're at the end of this side. It's a bike lane. On to the next park and have some lunch, lunch dinner. Big boat dock here. Curious what this would look like if all the leaves were turning. Do these not turn? Or has it been too hot this season for leaves to turn colors? No, we're almost at the end of October here. I'm, I would think that there would be more color at this juncture. Fill me in. Completed spring 1990. Going to head down below here in the other direction. The little museum is closed today. It's rented out. It has some picnic tables on the other side. When I started walking and I didn't even notice them till I came back. There's some nice ones too. I think that was six tenths of a mile that I just walked. And then you can walk upper or lower here. I prefer lower because the other way is close to the street. So round we go, something going on over there. I'm gonna head out in a couple minutes There's now. Armed Forces Network. Interesting. And some chalk artwork for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> Are these ghosts? Shadows. There's a happy guy. <laughs> he looks like he might be in love. Guess I should have paid closer attention in uh, geography or I don't know, is that chemistry? <laughs> Why I'm not seeing any colored leaves the end of October? We've arrived.
Let's go check it out. Check it out. Cool pavilion there to have a birthday party or a baby shower or a wedding shower. A place for the kids to play. Picnic tables. Got to figure out where I want to eat my lunch. It's like a nice walking area there across the bridge. We'll have to go check it out. I like that spot down below in the shade there next to the woods. Pretty much have the place to myself. Do I eat or do I go on a walk first? There's two other cars here. One just pulled up. Decided to fulfill my curiosity first and take a walk. There's a pathway down below there too I saw people coming from. A couple more people are out with their kiddos. It's just about four o'clock. Have I mentioned how heavenly this weather is? It's about 75 right now and it's four o'clock. Around six o'clock it drops to 67 and then by nine o'clock it's 57. This is <laughs> the absolute perfect weather for a nomad life. I know it's perfect for anybody and everybody but if you're living in a vehicle 57 to sleep by? Yeah. It's like divine. And 75 for high? Just as divine. We passed quite a few neighborhoods, the suburbs, coming here. This is really on the outskirts. As I was driving in, I was like, does this even exist? And then it just opens up into this beautiful park. And I use the internet and I read reviews and then I just go for it. Just decide what am I gonna do and where am I gonna go? This would be a great place to hang out for the day. If you don't wanna go see do, just find yourself some shade and come on over. Cool. I don't know what body of water this is, but it's still pretty cool. I'm sure it has a name. And if I looked at a map, I probably would know. I guess it really doesn't matter to me. And uh, this is in Clarksville. So maybe you can put in the comments, what am I looking at? <laughs> I barely know when something is a river or a lake. Oh my gosh. I think the only thing I really know is the ocean. <laughs> oh, trail closed. Okay. Wonder why that be. Hmm. Interesting. Private property. Trail closed. That's confusing to me. Does anybody know why this would be closed? Private property sign up there. Is somebody living up there? Look at these. These are serious. <laughs> serious? You do not cross through these. Wow. Hmm. Interesting. All right. I'm gonna head the other way and then I'm gonna have salad and going to switch it up a little bit. I'm gonna go back over to Kentucky Welcome Center and head out and see the cabin tomorrow, probably mid-afternoon. Not sure. Leaves are falling one leaf at a time. <laughs> it could take months at that rate. Anyone know why these big cement blocks are here? They're not really uh, nature driven. They're like serious, I don't know, seats. They don't look too comfortable. Although if I was tired, I would sit on one. They just kind of take away from the ambiance, don't you think? I've never seen something like this before. Interesting. Our signs back there 
I don't know, every 30 feet or so that say no mow zone. I guess that's to make sure uh, you don't mow. Brilliant. Debated for a second whether I would make my lunch dinner inside Happy Haven or take it all over to the picnic table. This is what I decided. This makes a great little tabletop. And I'm gonna add a little can of chicken. Regular size can of chicken. <laughs> Smaller than it used to be. And I love this uh, all-in-one salad, Caesar. And then I splurged on these little, well, they're not really a splurge, but I don't buy them very often. Probably haven't had them in over a year. Honey wheat rolls, yum. And then I have some leftover from the free refills I get at Gloves. Thank you. You know who you are. I appreciate you. And then I'll just go over and enjoy my meal with Dash nature. makes a nice tabletop area also. I have another meal for later. And everything's back in this one package. Put it back in my cooler and ready to eat. Tell me, does it get any better than this? Dinner, healthy, at least I think so. Quick, easy, simple, serene. And the sound of running water. Mosquitoes aren't even out, woohoo! Wow. Johnette, if you're watching, it reminds me of the day you and I stopped and got something at the grocery store and had a picnic together. Memories. Memories. Next show will be the almost or or completed cabin. It's a surprise for both of us when I get there. Blessings in your day and joy in the journey. Today's all we promised. Make it a good one. Later. Oh, look who joined me. It's a first. Yikes.